Hello, hello. I am now in Buda, my permanent uh, location. I'm going to go and uh, do some shopping and then uh, actually I'm going to dispose of a, a battery first. Yeah, acid battery and then I will uh, shop, go shopping. So I figured, uh, well, let's make a video of it. Yes, yeah, you can see the, the beautiful uh, city of uh, Buda. Yeah, Buda, if you don't know, is uh, located about uh, 1,200 kilometers north of uh, Oslo. So it's pretty far north. It's north of the polar circle. Yeah. And uh, for your new followers, I recently moved uh, here from uh, Oslo. I've been living in Oslo for like 15 years or something. And uh, actually, yeah, great news. Uh, I recently sold uh, the old apartment in Buda. I mean, sorry, in Oslo. Yeah, sold the apartment there. So um, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna go to Oslo. Last time, I mean, not last time, but we're gonna go there and pick up the, the last items in our apartment. Uh, and then, we, where are you going? Oh, okay, yeah, pedestrian. Oh shit, look at all that schmutz. Oh man, there's like two exhaust. Oh no, it's it's a Volkswagen Passat. I better switch on the biohazard, uh, I mean, the bioweapon defense mode, which I don't have yet, but oh, it's gonna be awesome to have it on the Model X, the X-Wing. But anyway, <coughs> oh, yeah, <coughs> sorry for that. I'm still recovering from the, the flu I had in Thailand. And of course, all you guys always ask me, how is the status on the Model X? Well, I haven't been able to configure it yet. Tesla, they said two weeks, two months ago. So I'm still waiting patiently. But eventually I'll get there. And, um, but the Model S P90D Ludicrous, same with that one still waiting for a configuration I have decided what to do with it though so um, in an earlier video I asked you guys what I should do should I you know test it out all that should I sell it brand new and all that so I've decided to sell it brand new untouched because I could review it of course but there's really no point because the model I mean the model s that I have now well Okay, the, the Model S P90D Ludicrous is faster, it has four-wheel drive and all that, but uh, I mean, the new features like autopilot features and all that will also come with the Model X. So it's really not that much interesting. And if I want to review Model S four-wheel drive, I can always uh, borrow one of my uh, friend's car or something. You know, we can swap car for a weekend or something, or I can borrow it from... Uh, Tesla so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, sell it find someone who wants to buy it but it has to be top spec so like pretty much everything ludicrous mode of course well that's already included but <coughs> so we'll see then when when I don't know when I'm gonna get it yet so uh, yeah Wow, this is this is rush hour in Buda. It is four in the afternoon here, and uh, it is um, what's the time now? Can't even see the time now on the new seven seven point oh seven point one. I don't even see the time on the dial. I mean, I don't see the sorry. I don't see the the. Hang on, hang on. I'm doing several things at this one time. That's not easy for a guy, but. I can't see the date on the dash anymore, but I can see it. It's oh yeah, I can see it there on the big screen. It's the twenty seventh January two thousand sixteen. So we are getting close to February, and already at four, it kind of gets dark. Yeah, welcome to Buda. A good thing though is that um, the electricity price here are freaking low. In the northern parts of Buda, I mean the northern parts of Norway, we don't have to pay for VAT for electricity. And if you go even further north, 
Troms Finnmark, then you don't even have to pay this um, electricity fee or something. So it's even cheaper there. It's like it's like a compensation for living so freaking far away from everything. Yeah. So anyway, the electricity price that I'm paying is uh, 56 euro. It's like it's uh, about half a krone or in euro or uh, dollars US dollars it's about six cents per kilowatt hour that is very very low yeah so um, and of course 95% of the electricity in Norway comes from hydropower so uh, it's pretty clean it can't really be cleaner than that Wow, what is this huge vehicle? I need to overtake it. Yeah. Well, I can do it further there. Oh, okay. So, first task for me, well, it's not, I don't do any nimble task here, but first task for me is to uh, dispose of um, a battery. Today I replaced it on my mom's uh, Volkswagen transporter. And uh, yeah, the old one, I mean, it had the, the voltage and all that, but it just couldn't output the, the amps. So it's old, yeah, I don't know how old it is. And we have this uh, recycling station, where, yeah, almost there now, Esso, where they can, uh, they can receive the, the, our trash, but it has to be... Uh, sorted out like yeah it has to be sorted and then we can re just recycle it for free so you have to split paper plastic metal and all that and they also receive batteries and stuff like that yeah I think in other countries I know in Thailand they actually buy plastic yeah, they buy it, like per kilo or something. Yeah, I consider bringing some plastic with me in the hand luggage to Thailand, but well, I haven't done that yet. Well, let's see, here I'm getting close to the station. Now you get another sightseeing around Buda. The funny thing is that Buda well, we actually have higher um, density of um, EVs now. After they introduced toll roads in Boulder, people started buying EVs like crazy. So we actually have more Teslas and more Nissan Leafs and uh, BMW i3 and all that. So that's awesome. But this place is a wasteland when it comes to charging stations we don't even have one freaking okay we have one chadamo station but it is ancient chinese secret is uh, the charger is located in a freaking small room and it gets overheated so wait, hold on, hold on. i think I, i'm gonna ask yeah, yeah, yeah. okay hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, the, <laughs> the employee here was like, uh, how, how are you gonna, how are you supposed to start your car now? I'm like, uh, I have a freaking huge battery. So huge. That one was uh, a 1.2 kilowatt hour. Yeah, 12 volt, 100 uh, amp hour. So uh, <laughs> 1.2 kilowatt hour and uh, 
we have 85 kilowatt hours. So that battery will last for, um, I calculated, it will last for six kilometers. Hang on, hang on, I have to show you something. I just saw it right now, okay. See here, I was talking about, we have more Teslas now. Yeah, and you see, you can, and you can probably see that it's blinking there in the dash. He has a dash cam, he's uh, recording me, so. Later he's gonna be like, oh my god, that's uh, the Millennium Falcon and Bjorn here, yeah, Tesla Bjorn. Yeah, anyway, first task is done. Deliver the battery. Now I'm gonna go buy some uh, food. Yeah, I'm gonna make spaghetti for wifey. So I'm going to uh, Rema 2000, Rema 1000. Yeah. Let me see, which way is gonna take? I think I'm just gonna take this way. Or actually, I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah. Holy crap, so much traffic. What? Where did all these uh, cars come from? Well, okay, for you guys, new uh, followers. Um, I used to live here in Buda many years ago. Ah, no, I'm gonna go take the other way, yeah. So, uh, I used to live here, that was like, uh, how long was it there? 20 years ago or something? Yeah. And I used to live here for, uh, nine years so that's where i got my accent from you can hear that i don't have a typical like uh, southern part uh, accent so they yes yeah, from buddha no uh, landing yeah so um anyway i was talking about uh, yeah cars cars electric cars we have you know a lot of electric cars in uh, buddha and i mean the the percentage is pretty high, but one Chalamo charger at a, a car dealership, dealer store or something. So, whoa, 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 why are you, why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Man, almost didn't make it. Okay, okay, bye bye. And one Chalamo which overheats, so that's pretty bad. And actually. <laughs> Um, the store have told Teslas not to charge there. Other cars can charge there because they only need to charge for like 15 minutes, but Teslas, they can possibly charge for like half an hour, one hour, and uh, yeah, the room will get so hot that it's like a sauna. But I think I heard rumors that they will make um, fast chargers, DC chargers, probably like Chadamo. Uh, combo C CCS. Oh, that's a BMW i3. And uh, hopefully, we'll get some more charges here because right now it's pretty bad. That's for DC. For AC, it's also pretty bad. We have like maybe like five, six public charges. Shuku, yeah, freaking Shuku. Ugh. So, um, I don't know, man. What are we gonna do? I think I have to, uh, me and my. Uh, other buddy here, my uh, Tesla buddy, uh, Espen Limstrand. Yeah, he, he's the guy who helped me move my car when I was in Thailand, by the way. We have to do some uh, some work. Yeah. Oh, that's an e-golf. Yeah, you can see it on the color, on the, on the LED. I don't know. We have to push, push the municipality to make more uh, uh, public charges. I mean, Shuku works. Shuku, it's awesome. A couple of uh, Chadamo, yeah, it would also be great. And um, maybe also a few uh, 400 volt, uh, like 11 to 22 kilowatts. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be good to go. Right now, yeah. But at least I have 7.4 kilowatt at home. That helps. So many cars. Holy crap. All right, this is Rema. Uh, favorite store. Oh, maybe I could just park here. I can park here. Yeah. Park here. Can I park here? Can I park here? I think so. Is it like a handicapped spot, is it? Oh, it's a dude behind me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to park here. Right next to the entrance. That's awesome. Alright, so I'm going to stop the recording for now and then I'll be back. 
All right, I'm back. Yeah, so let's get home. Bought my stuff. And now I'm gonna go home to Wifey and... Uh, oh, oh, by the way, the 7.1 update, it's, uh, it's good. I like it. One feature I like is that they recently updated, so... Um, So the display like, uh, sends it, I mean, intensity automatically adjusts. So um, yeah, and you can also like teach it to adjust correctly. So um, it was slightly too bright now, but I uh, adjusted it down. So we'll see, we'll see, yeah, this is cool. I don't like that feature. I uh, will do a separate video where I um, review all the features. I mean, the big, great thing that came in 7.1 for Europe is that uh, we received uh, Spotify support. So that's awesome, yeah, I like it. Actually, um, I had to make a, uh, a confession that uh, I actually never used Spotify, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, but uh, now I actually um, consider uh, getting a um, Spotify premium account something. Yeah, that's great. With a premium account, you have more uh, more features. So, um, let me see, where should I go now? They've been digging up the streets all over the place. But, by the way, you know, I just came home from a long ass vacation in Thailand. Stayed there for one month. But, um, many of you guys have been asking me, when is the the Burning Part 2 coming out. Well, it's getting there. I've been working on it now. So it's about, I mean, Part 2 is about one third done. So um, maybe, let me see, today is, oh, today is Wednesday already. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't promise anything, but uh, I'll get it done soon. But this weekend, I will actually borrow a BMW i3 and also a um, Mercedes-Benz B-Class electric. So I will uh, review those cars, take it on a trip, not too long, but I mean, not too far, but far enough. And um, yeah, I will do some reviews because it's about time I review some of the smaller cars. And of course I have to have an open mind and uh, not expect anything crazy from them, but for the price range, yeah. Oh, I'll have to borrow, of course, the most popular one, uh, Nissan Leaf, we just passed one now. So that will be my plan. I will also review the other smaller cars, the other small EVs later when I have time and uh, opportunity to borrow them. So, um, yeah, that's going to be awesome. I am very excited because, you know what, I've never actually driven any of those cars before. I've just done lots of miles on Tesla, <laughs> that's it. So, uh, yeah, so we are now downtown, getting close to home. Uh, so, I don't know, oh, she, I don't know what you guys think about this uh, type of video. Yeah, it was more like an unplanned video. Just figured, yeah, let's try to make a video and see how it goes. So, um, I'm always looking for feedback from you guys. Do you like it or do you don't like it? Well, if you like it. Or if you don't like it, just please leave me a comment and uh, then I'll figure out if I should make more of these or just do something else. I have lots of other videos that I'm going to make. Uh, yeah, um, just have to have time for them. So let's see, where should I park? Yeah, I can park over there. Yeah, good thing about uh, electric cars in Boda is that we can park pretty much anywhere where there are public you know, the, the blue P, yeah. The public char I mean the public parking. And um, electric cars can park here for free, unlimited time, unlike in Oslo and Bergen and other bigger cities where there are usually like a limit for like two hours or something. Uh, but here, we don't have any limits. We can stay here as long as you like. So um, there's a, yeah, actually you probably saw that. Let me see, I'm gonna back up a little bit. You can see there's a charging station over here. 
that is a setup. That is one of the few public charging stations. And uh, is he gonna go somewhere? Because I'm gonna park here. Yeah, he's gonna park here. Uh, anyway, yeah, we just saw that there's a public charging station there, but it is broken again. Uh, so I reported that to uh, the municipality, so they will be repairing it soon. But uh, that uh, charging station is not very reliable. So they should be switching to one of the newer ones with Type 2 and RFID. But, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm home now and... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, all right. I just um, realized I've been having the charger on, so there should be some static noise there. I switch off the charger, so... Um, yeah, I'll try to fix this. Uh, if not, then uh, I'm sorry that... Uh, <laughs> it's lots of noise. Yeah. All right, then. Bye-bye.